One thing that's really good is at the end of the day. We have finally got the last two heroes, the most brand new heroes, to level 10 by finding their passives in the shop. So for today's video, we're going to be starting off here with the Hua Ling level 10. But not only that, we have unlocked the brand new Mulan skin that is the fully maxed out battle pass skin for this hero. Now for the passive ability, she does gain the ability to regularly scan a fan shaped area in the front and she's able to see all of the scan enemies through the walls so if you are a very good walling player you will always know where your enemies are coming from and you'll be able to pre-aim pre-charge and hit them in the head hopefully if you're good with this character now just a heads up Unless you are a Hualing one trick or planning to be a Hualing one trick, you might want to be very careful when playing this hero because I will say she is the hardest hero in the entire game and I have not played her since the launch day, so hopefully today's video goes okay. Without further ado, let's hop into the gameplay. So this is about to be a battle of the long range heroes. Osas and Hunter and Scatty are all in this game. So... We will see how we can adjust. Kill. Oh, imagine! Oh! I, oh! I play this character! Okay, I should've been- Oh! Woo! Let me get on the one-trick bandwagon, bro. Let me- Let me get on the one-trick bandwagon real quick, dude. What? Okay, maybe, you know, the shield makes it a little bit tough with the ruby. Just a little bit, you know. But luckily, I mean, she gets her ultimate pretty quickly, I believe. Kill. Hey, why is everybody just running away from me? Come on. Oh, I can get a double with the ultimate right here. This would be so clean. Boom! <laughs> My hand cam. I messed it up. Oh, shoot. Let's go! Oh, they don't know that I copied. Hey, we got some work to do. But they don't know we played a hauling like that. You feel me? <laughs> 83 stacks, baby. Time to tune in with some... Uh, payload race it's been a while but i might start mixing these into the video let me know if you guys want to see some more payload race games go down with these hero specific gameplays but we're gonna be going with Hua Ling. it looks like we're going up against a hunter here an iris which is a very solid team comp hopefully i'm not throwing i have to be able to make sure we uh land a lot of really good shots to make a difference who are they going with we both have the long range heroes we have way more is that the game's audio's fault Okay, it is. I was like, I, I didn't know what was happening there. And they're running the Aletta. We're on attack. Um. Hmm. This one will be interesting. I don't. Yeah, I'm not too sure. I'm not too sure. The Hunter is going to be a little bit obnoxious because I know where he's going to be playing the entire time. He's probably just going to like sit up top, sit inside the balconies and do his thing. So I'm going to try my best to land a one shot. It'll be a, pr it'll be a pretty close fight between us back and forth. The Iris on this game mode on defense, I don't know how I feel about that. It's not that it's bad, I just feel like normally you want to spread out and everybody's on different angles. So having a healer on defense is kind of tough. But on offense, I think it's really solid. Because you guys are all hugging the payload together for the most part. And then Sindri is just all around good, so. Three, two. And then of course Gloria, I don't even have to speak on that. Gloria, Sindri, Goats. See where Hunter's playing. Even Aletta's playing up top. Good damage. Is Hunter not even up? He's playing down low. I can hear him. That's fine. I'm just going to come hold the payload with him. Ha ha ha! You didn't think I knew, bro! I was like, if you did that much damage to Gloria, you must be one-shot as well. That's just intuition. You can't teach that. Can't 
teach game sense, ladies and gents. This payload is kind of moving when y'all when all y'all are on it, bro. This thing is kind of moving. Where's the hunts? Nice. Oh, bro. Is this about to be a fast payload game? No way they're getting rolled like this. Didn't even need the ultimate there, but we'll take it. It's another double wipe. Hunter's the last one left again. Oh no, your boy is whiffing. Your boy is whiffing. That's that ADS where this, the sense is a little bit slower. I need to actually like increase the sense for this character. Just by just a tad bit. Nothing crazy. On the, on the ADS anyways. The ADS, my flick shots aren't the same. But it's not going to matter here. We are just defiantly stomping all the way through the enemy base. A quick payload game. You normally don't see that. But somehow, some way, we ran through them in the payload race. Oh, what a solid team we had there. Ended up able to get eight objective KOs and 30,000 damage. All these tanks in the team deathmatch. Oof, we're going to have to try to shred through them to the best of our ability. But one thing that's really good is at the end of the day... Sorry, let me gather myself here because that might have been the nastiest shot that I've hit in this game ever, bro. I mean, ever, bro. You might not see a better shot than that in your life. Bro. <laughs> like, off the top? Like, off the top? If he pulls up, I have ultimate for him, so I'm not really too worried about it. But, oh my goodness, dog. That was, like that was, oh yeah, I got off there on time. I'm going up for this one, I'm not dying to you now. Nope. Sit down with all that. It was a good spider web, but she caught it, you know, she, I guess she didn't reload from her previous fight, so she had to end up reloading there. I hear, I think I hear bro from beneath. Her sense, it's so interesting because her sense actually feels, her ADS feels a lot slower than Osas for some reason. Not like the actual scoping, but like the, the feel after you're scoped in. Yeah, this is where, it's, it's going to be tough for them though because, because they have all these tanks. Nothing wrong with having a whole bunch of tanks, but because I play from deep, it's going to be so tough for them to actually get close enough to, uh, oh, that's a good shot. It's going to be so tough for them to go, you're just dead. You better get out of there, buddy. I'm just dead now, yeah. This Jabali saved them. I would have got a nasty triple kill, I think. But either way, you can't get close enough to actually... You can't get close enough. That's a good headshot. Oh, yo, bro. I played a Hualing, dog. <laughs> like, I played the Hualing. I'm okay though, you know what I'm saying? Oh, just wait, just wait for the boys that are actually one tricking here. Just wait. That's why that scope thing is kind of nice. Or the the radar. It's like 
boom, boom, boom. Ah, uh, uh, 14? Hello, 14, Bob, 134,000 damage. Yeah, that, that first shot was sweet, though. Payload, payload, payload race. Now, this is always, long-range heroes are always the golden children in this game mode. So, I love a haul in here. We'll see if we can land a nice little shot down the middle. Where'd the mark go? Double kill. Yeah, my job, though, I know everybody likes to go a little team deathmatch in the middle. My job is to just stay on this payload. Especially here because we have the long range. The long range advantage. Even playing inside there is probably pretty good. If you have the confidence to land your shots, of course. She has unlimited ammo, so realistically, you could just continue to fire down here at head level and eventually something will land. That them headshots landed, baby. Landed flush. They landed flush. Especially once you pick up the range, it's just. Oh my gosh. Yeah, on this map, it's a firing range, actually. It's a firing range on this map. Thought he would get way closer than that. I guess we use this on the on the victor before he comes in and charges. I was trying to see if I could find a double kill value on it over there and then use the third third shot to finish them off, but a couple thirty five hundred tags on the way out. in the corner I don't know I'm not gonna worry about it too much we got we have our alt charging back up here in a second again she gets her alt rather quick it's a solid ultimate too oh what a shot that i wanted that i was like let me let me see if i can get a little bit get a little bit damage off onto the mark before we exit the stage bro let's see if we get a little bit of damage 103 stacks clean payload game crystal assault on everybody's favorite map so actually this is a hauling style map not even gonna lie because i know osas does crazy on here it's easier to aim it with osas though because of the lack of uh bullet drop but that doesn't change the fact that a hauling that can aim on this map would be filth. Okay, I'm, I'm actually overestimating the drop this time. Double kill. Triple kill. I'm just going up with it. <laughs> I don't like how close he was. I need to make a, uh, an actual individual sense for this character because it feels, personally, it feels way better. Or it feels way slower, I'm sorry, than Osas. Yeah, right, we land a shot from over here, right? Yeah, right. Whoa, that air. Whoa. Oh, yeah. I thought that was a headshot for sure. Omega Law. I don't think they try to stop us here. The way they're playing, they just want to get onto the thing. Which I don't mind our team doing. I'm just going to be the one to play defense. Rampage on stage. Your team is damaged. 
Yeah, see, wow, that sense feels so, especially up close, feels so slow. That feels extremely slow. Which is not a bad thing, you just have to, what it is, is you don't want to aim in. If you're going to continue to hold your same sense, you don't want to aim in until you've already, like, you want to imagine you're hip firing. Just don't aim in. I might be dead. Okay, well, our teammate already got the crystals. I was just sort of, I wanted to stay there and be the one defending because I was like, let me continue to get some practice shots in there with the hauling. Do a little bit of damage, stack it up a little bit, but at the end of the day, pretty solid game. Our team took care of the crystal. Playing some control now, but it looks like there's a lot of enemy or a lot of snipers in this game. We got hauling, Judix on our team, they got an Osas on their team. Realistically, if they lock in, they have the better team comp because they have the Aletta who can dance around the snipers and really make our lives difficult, but we'll see how well she utilizes that. Looks like we're taking down their Osas already. I'm going to reposition here and play up top. Yep, there's Aletta being a problem. What? I thought I heard, I thought I heard, uh, well, I heard the alert of the, the point losing its, its, um, charging bar, and I thought somebody was still here, so I preemptively threw down the slow grenade. I have ultimate now, though, so I can continue to play on, oh! Debatably, I could have used it there, but I didn't want to. You know, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't feel like that was the place to use it. I felt like the slow grenade, back off, you won't be able to do enough damage to kill me. Save the ultimate for another day, cause now they're starting to they're starting to use their pushes. They're starting to push together. Be smart. Your team is halfway to victory. Yeah. There's the Osas. Oh. Oh. Pre revic. Oh, we're landing some we're landing some high quality hauling shots. Respectable stuff here. Proceeds to miss all shots next. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Stand still for who, bro? That's the thing. Like who? <laughs> like who we standing still for? We still have ultimate, and after this whole time, they haven't been able to get onto the point. Incredible stuff. Might as well use it. See how the scan? Oh, the scan reveals Aletta. I know she's. Whoa, 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 whoa! I got you, Judix. Oh. oh. That is the quick scope. Is it's not faster necessarily than Osas, but because she never has to reload. That headshot damage was still quite high on a half charge, which is pretty nuts. So, pretty solid 100% to zero game. You love to see it.